Here's Orion, Calpurnia, and the tip of feces. <laughs> we, used to lie out, we used to lie out on this very lawn and study the constellations for hours. Do you remember that, Joshua? That was back when you called it the sky rather than the heavens. Back when you could look up at one thing without looking down at another. Is it just me or does that seem like a thousand years ago? I remember this one day, and uh, we were young then. Sister Lacey, the school teacher, gave us an assignment to pick the one thing that we loved most in the world aside from God and name ten things that were wrong with it. She picked the moon and said that it was conceited and spiteful and just plain mean. Mm -hmm. I wanted to prove you wrong, so one afternoon, uh, it was hot. One of the dormitories had burned down, and while everyone was running, trying to save what they could, I took some melted cheese and I formed it into a ball, and I said that this, this was what the moon was really like. Round and perfect at the start. You slice a little piece off each day, and then when it's gone, you replace it. I made those cheese balls to please you, and then you please God. And that pleased me until I realized that I was the one who the moon down to nothing. Stick a moon in the sky or a nice smoky cheese ball on the table, and people will notice when it's waning. But that's not always true of a person, is it? I was chopping walnuts about six months ago, and I looked up and I asked myself, when did this happen? Why did I feel so small and empty inside? Why is it that nobody's noticed it until now? Or even me? Why is an old friend that I had to dress up as a peanut in order to feel like a human again? If I remember correctly, Elizabeth, when you were talking about the moon, I was actually talking about myself. Mean, judgmental, self-centered, I've been owning those qualities for quite some time. On a more hopeful note, I believe I also said that the moon was foolish, but would one day grow wiser. Wishful thinking, but that never quite came true, did it? I always wondered why Sister Lacey gave us that horrible assignment. Take the one thing you love most in the world and pick it apart bit by bit. Push it away until it's so small and weak that it can no longer tempt you. The thing I love because of the moon it was with it was you. I've been pushing and picking ever since, haven't I? I know I know it's a bit late to be asking for forgiveness, but this old donkey would be incredibly grateful if you would give me a second chance. The cheese balls are not we need you, Elizabeth. And if there's anything that I can do. I want you to rehire Miss Foxley. <laughs> <laughs> Institute casual dress down Fridays. <laughs> and put me back in charge of the chastity. Done. <laughs> Roll it all onto a soft flour tortilla and here's your breakfast burrito. Some syrup and everything? Well, it depends on what you like for breakfast. Chris used to fill up with sugar waffles, hash brown sausage, and two aspirin. Guess I won't be looking at that anymore. I'm really sorry it didn't work out between you two. Well, it was good for a while, but when Chris started messing with my dogs, I said, that's it. Because nobody messes with my dogs, you know what I mean? I had a llama, but I don't really know anything about dogs. I showed you the pictures, didn't I, Sister Elizabeth? Oh, yes, they're beautiful. And please, call me Liz. Okay, Liz. Let's see. So that's 40 boxes of the traditional and... 38 of the smoky. Boy, you're really making up for lost time, aren't you? I just start a little bit earlier each morning. That gives me my afternoons for you to work on the chastity parade. I've been thinking about working in a song, but I can't seem to get past this. <clears throat> well, that's a start, Liz. Next, I guess you'll have to find some words around the law and then work in some kind of rhythm. That's what the professionals do. Huh. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for the tip. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Hey, Liz. Good to have you back. It's good to be back. It's good to be back.